Damn, baby, you sure you don't want to join me? What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. She's the best place for him anyway. <laughs> Like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked up breaking my bed. You bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! You okay, homie? What happened? guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy... I thought you wanted to get this motherfucker. Tennis coat? Oh, that's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliché. Straight ahead, man. The fuck is he doing? Grow some more hip, you stupid hippie fuck! Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Ah, the fuck is he? Okay, this is the turn. Hey! You know one of these fucking houses? Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit! Coach's doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, but You got the wrong idea, man! Banging married women's a hobby, not a fucking profession! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh. Bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. Yeah. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you 
are properly crazy. <laughs> oh, shit. You see this shit, dog? Do it, man. Fucking do it. Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Oh, hell yeah, homie. He know what time it is. Trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill. Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what? What the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Shit. We got some heavies on us, homie. Are you kidding me? Get. Do you do something? I'll try, man. Try. <clears throat> we can handle this, right? Screw them. <laughs> Ain't you looking? Hey, fuck off! Come on, kid. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone! You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Green light! Green light! Mat Madrazzo! Fuck you! Hey man, that's a mean looking motherfucker. That's right behind you. Oh, Whoa, that was quick. Alright, I'll make deal with this. There! I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. We can handle this, right? Screw up! Got a book, man. Go. How much distance we got between us? Got one of those bastards. You've been kind of reckless, homie. Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. All right, we managed to lose them. Hey, let's go. Let's leave them behind. Uh oh, that guy got it. I got one. I think we lost it. Okay. We go back to my house to think about this. Wow. Shit. We did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Uh -huh. Thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was going to get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. 
Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. Ah! Ah! Did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? Ah, I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. Ah, I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. Ah. Well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Fuck me. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Well, you don't see me driving?
Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean... I need something done, you need to know something, so... Why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this, uh... Fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism, and brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. 
I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, you know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, you've been added on this PC. Ah. Uh... Got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? Give me a second, will you? There you go. How about I run the antivirus software? And now we scan. There it goes. You want a massage? Cause my hands are free. <laughs> These hacker kids always come up with a new way to screw the network in the ass. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, nice. Send me the phone. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. <laughs> Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Oh, ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non passive aggressive note on it. Hold on, I'll buzz you out. Oh no! Shit! Ah! Fuck! Hey, raise up now, Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Don't! I don't ya! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Cut fucking tits! Give me The fans continue with she You guys are going to the final. Mimes on fire. Woo! What a talent! I have never seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Fantastic! The most racist guy in America. You all disgust me! America loves you. You are in the final. To Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guys at Fruit Computers and we told them we wanted to make our hardware as compatible as possible. But you know what? They're not interested in sharing their technology. So we went and made it compatible anyway. Now you can dock your Life Invader to an iFood phone or any other device. And it'll take all the data off it and reformat it into Life Invader friendly information. At around this point in my presentation, there was meant to be a call for my product team to introduce the device. 
but we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Oh, hold on a second. Fuck you. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Get security! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no,